when I had the strong thoughts of it before I started dealing with you, I said, well, over the years, like I said, I dealt with so many of these. I had it all in my mind how I was going to do it. It was going to be an accident and in a way that nobody would doubt that, that it wasn't an accident. I mean, if you think about it long enough, you can make things happen that, you know, whether it was a car accident or a snowmobile accident or a four-wheeler, um, because I've never thought of shooting or hanging or taking an overdose or anything like that. I thought a lot about a suicide and it was always, in my mind, going to make it look like an accident because I didn't want any any of the blame to go to my family because they'd say, well, what did I say to dad or what did I not say or what did I say to my husband? Like, I didn't want to, I wanted to end the link. I didn't want to just pass the problem to someone else because I think that's what you do, you know, because when you're gone, you, your problems are still somebody else's. And then it, it, it I'm not going to say it ruins their life, but it certainly has to, because I've talked to a lot of people that, you know, it was uh, six months ago and it was 25 years ago, and they're still wondering why. And when they did it, uh, I'm sure they just wondered why not, like, this is the answer for me today. To do this, I'm not going to be a burden, because you feel worthless, uh, you just, there's a, a dozen things. You feel like you're a burden to everybody, uh, waste of space, you're not contributing to anything, um, and really don't care if you do. You just get thinking on that route out, and some people take it, and then other people go and get help. The problem is there's not near enough going to get help. Because I mean, it's, and it's not talked about.